Hi everyone, this is Diamond Dog Training and I'm Joyce Diamond. Why would I buy my dog a dog puzzle? I already give them exercise, take them for walks, play ball, all that physical exercise. What's so important about the mental exercise? The dog puzzle help your dog to feel good about themselves. The puzzle sets them up for success. They're fun, keeps your dog busy, keeps them out of trouble as they are doing a good behavior and don't have time to do anything bad. With an added bonus, they also are great for a dog that's either a, a picky eater, who when you put their dog food into the puzzle, it's more fun to eat, or a dog that is a really fast eater and the puzzle will slow your dog down from eating their meal so quickly. So which dog puzzles are we gonna talk about? Nina Otison. I'll put the link below so you can see her website and also where you can purchase the Nina Otison dog puzzles. I like Nina Otison's puzzles because they have many levels. The level one is the least challenging. You can see here in the picture, the dog lifting the white bone and then you'll see the treats underneath. That's the level one. Level two is the brick. The dog brick, dog brick has many different places where you can put the treats. You have four little white bones. You put treats under the bones. You, you also have these little boxes that lift up and you can put treats in the boxes. And also, you can slide the box and put the treats underneath. And your dog has to lift the white bones first before they can slide the boxes. So it's quite challenging. This is a level two. Here are my dogs working on the level two, the brick. The dog tornado is also a level two, but I think it's a little more challenging because it has these white bones, but they're placed a little differently. They are put on one on each level. So in order for the spindle to turn, your dog has to remove the white bone first, otherwise the spindle will not turn. Remove the bone, then the level will turn and you can get to the next level of treats. As a tip to help your dog to be more successful, I took out all the white bones, I pushed the boxes up and I put a treat in. Then we made it harder. Once they could open them up and get all the treats out, putting them inside the boxes. We took the bones and didn't quite put them on. Just enough that the dogs could knock them off. The bones could go back where they belong. There's treats under the boxes, treats in the boxes, and treats under the bones. This is a great gift for dog owners and dogs. I hope your dog enjoys these Nina Otison puzzles as much as my dogs Nikki and Beezy enjoy playing with them. If you'd like to see more, there are treat dispensing toys, best gifts for dogs and owners, and the link is above and also indoor fun with your dog, which gives you many more ideas. Please subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you receive all the episodes. Bye from Joyce at Diamond Dog Training. Bye-bye.